Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. Well, I want to send the temperatures only in case uh, a certain threshold has been changed or the time has already passed. So I will do this. I will add a new timeout here. Uh, send temp 01. And this shall be uh, 60. Let's make let's let's make it 60 seconds uh, or let's make it 30 seconds for test reasons uh, 30 seconds for test reason uh, send temp 01 uh, and now here in the loop I will call I will also say there is a static top last send how do I call this? Temp grill last cent equals zero. Mm -hmm. All right, and now I say if temp grill last cent, if the absolute value of temp grill last cent minus Temp grill is bigger than, let's say, half a degree. Right. Or what might also happen is that this, how I have a code, is now sent temp 01 timed out. In this case, I want to send. Then I do all this stuff. Maybe clean this out. This I don't know how long I need. This I will write anyway. All right. Mm -hmm. This I also don't need. This I also don't need. All right. That's that. This second address I don't need. So after 30, ah, the send temp, I have to set send temp. Zero then, set now. Mm, good. Now we should be able to send this only in case we the threshold is too big or it's timed out. Hmm. Let's try. Let's upload this. Here, this is the other one. I should see something here. Aha, it's already sending, it's, it's, it's the old. So, <laughs> it's still working, good. And once I've uploaded this here, we should see this. Right, it's uploaded. We're starting up. Again, always sending. Why is it always sending? Ah, of course. Rain, good hands. <sighs> of course, I have to say uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that the then grill last cent equals then grill. Uh, of course, I have to remember what I've sent last. All right. Sending. Now we're not sending. Once I touch this, sending. 21, yes, it's sending. Every time we the, the threshold is extended. And now what I've said, five seconds, right? What was the? The output, 30 seconds. Okay, let's wait 30 seconds. Ah, this will not be 30 seconds because this is now 71, 21, now we'll send. Yes, and so this 50 is working, 0 to 5 degree is working. Well, 
Now we should send again. Yes. This was already something. 21.88 was last sent. After 30 seconds. Let's see. 21.63. Also the timing is working. I'm just thinking. Just thinking what if I am producing. This is actually what I'm going to do. Is what I'm going to do. What is if I'm producing, you know, uh, uh, a library which triggers this sending, which exactly incorporates this? It sounds like we could use this. It sounds like I could use this more often that there is a certain timeout and there's a certain threshold. And one of one of those two is fulfilled, I trigger something. I think this should be a good idea. This should be a good idea. So what I'm going to do is to, to write what is this linearize? What is this what is this returning along? Alright. I divide it by hundred. This is why. We will stay in the long. Why do I always do see things with long? Yeah. Because Arduinos usually don't have a, a calculating unit dealing with floating points. So the floating point operations take much longer and need more energy. This is the important thing now. Needs more energy than uh, integer operation. Integer operation are native. Huh? They can calculate integer. Floating point operation are not native. They need to work around this by software. So one floating point operation are a lot of integer operation. This is why I want to stick to the integer values and I want to make it a fixed comma. Two commas should be sufficient that we have two commas. All right. Oh, my, my little ecosystem with my libraries is built like that. And I st will start next time to write a library. Let's write this library together. I will show you how to write a library. And this is now an opportunity. I want to write a library which is telling me if I should trigger transfer or not. There should be a threshold value adjustable and there should be um, adjustable timeout value. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is... This will happen. This will happen next time. Next video we'll start with that. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.